Konnichiwa, Japan fans. In today's show, we're going to continue with part three of building strong relationships with our buyers. So let's get going. This is the fourth year of the Sales Japan Series podcast, and we are broadcasting around the world from the Beverly Hills of Japan, Minato-ku. It is Chic Central. I'm your host, Dr. Greg Story, your corporate coaching and training guy committed to your success, the president of Dale Carnegie Training Japan, the best-selling author, Japan Sales Mastery and Japan Business Mastery, and my new book, Japan Presentations Mars, it will be released shortly. In this podcast, I want to help you to survive COVID-19. Don't forget to subscribe and share this podcast with your family, friends, and colleagues. We are not being sponsored by Libsyn, but we value your privacy, which is why we have our podcast hosted by Libsyn, who, unlike many other podcast hosts, have a strict policy that does not allow access to your private information by anyone. Here is our daily podcast lineup on iTunes. Mondays, the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show. Tuesdays, the Presentation Japan Series. Every second Tuesday, the Business Touches in No Oshie Show. Wednesdays, the Sales Japan Series. Thursdays, the Leadership Japan Series. And every second Thursday, the Business Pro Podcast Show. Fridays, the Japan Business Mastery Show. And Saturdays, Japan's top business interviews. This is episode number 259, 259, and yes, this is part three of Building Strong Relations, our buyers. So over parts one and two, we've been exploring how to apply some human relations principles when you're working with our buyers. Buyers don't buy products or services. They buy us first. And the solution comes with us as a package. If they don't buy us, then the package can be the best one on the planet on paper, but they won't bother to buy it because it doesn't feel right, because the trust is not there. Let's look at three more powerful, time-tested, universal principles to help us build buyer trust. Number seven, be a good listener. Encourage others to talk about themselves. Some buyers are boring when they talk about themselves, and I tune out because I only want to hear stuff that will help me make this sale. That doesn't sound like a good approach to the buyer, and using such selective listening skills can mean we miss important signals and information from the buyer. What are they saying with their eyes and body language? What are they not saying? We need our attentive and empathetic listening skills on full deployment when we talk with our buyers. Remember, we need to develop a genuine interest in the buyer as a person. How can we do that? Let's find out what are some key areas of importance to them. We will discover things and experiences in common. And that really helps us to build our bonds together. Let's use a memory linking technique. Nameplate, house, family, briefcase, airplane, tennis racket, ideas. This technique, by the way, works for everyone you meet, not just buyers, by the way. So how does this technique work? Imagine the following. A huge silver nameplate is crashing into the roof of a completely pink house. Inside the pink house in the living room is a giant baby like a sumo wrestler size in a diaper. The giant baby is playing with a work briefcase. Out of the briefcase, the giant baby pulls out a model old-style aircraft. The wings have propellers, except... These are special propellers because they are huge black tennis rackets. Threaded through the strings of the black tennis rackets are the rolled up pages of a newspaper. All we need to do is remember these connectors. Nameplate, house, family, briefcase, 
aeroplane, tennis racket, newspaper. Find out more. We come back from the break. Our show today is brought to you by our public programs, but we also do custom-made in-house classes. Now, we do them in our super safe classroom. We do them live online, and we do them in Japanese, and we do them in English. Today's show is sponsored by, on the 19th of October, we're doing storytelling. On the 28th, time management. On the 4th and 5th of November, we are doing high-impact presentations. On the 11th of November, we're doing successful public speaking. Check out our website, www.dale-carnegie.co.jp. Get my best-selling books, Japan Sales Mastery. This is the Bible for selling in Japan. Japan Business Mastery, both are available on Amazon. And my new book, Japan Presentations Mastery, will be out in 2021. If you like learning by watching videos, then we have over 1,000 there for you at Tokyo Japan Dale Carnegie TV on YouTube. We release three TV shows every week on YouTube. The Cutting Edge Japan Business Show, that's the premier business show in Japan, comes out Mondays. Fridays, the Japan Business Mastery Show, and Saturdays, Japan's top business interviews, where I interview leaders in Japan from SMEs all the way up to the corporate captains of industry on one topic, leading in Japan. Now, every second Thursday, we release the Business Pro Terebi Show. And don't forget, you can email me at greg.story at dalecarnegie.com. Welcome back. So, nameplate, house, family, briefcase, aeroplane, tennis racket, newspaper. So now we can ask buyers we are meeting for the first time where they live, how many people in their family, what has been their occupational experiences, do they travel much for work or pleasure, what are their hobbies, what is the latest news from their industry. We don't necessarily ask these questions in this order or ask all of these questions. We certainly don't make it sound like we are interrogating them or prying into their private affairs. We use tact and diplomacy when we engage them about their private interests. Using some of these questions, we will never be stuck on how to make small talk with our buyers. We can build trust with buyers through getting to know them by showing genuine interest in them. Ask the buyer questions using the who, what, where, when, why, how formula. Who have they worked for previously? What was it like? Where was their office? When did they start here? Why did they choose this company they work for now? And what do they like most about it? People love to talk about themselves. So become a good listener. What excites them? What are their interests? Make finding out all about the buyer, your mission, and you are sure to find the buying conversation more effective. Remember, we are trying to become their trusted business advisor, so the personal connection is critical. Number eight, talk in terms of the other person's interest. What if you don't know about the other person's interest? No problem. Ask more questions. Remember, what we learned in Principle 7 about being a good listener. We may not be told immediately by the buyer what they're interested in because they're still checking us out to see if they can trust us. We need to gain their trust to allow us to dig in, to find out how we can help them. By asking questions, we have the chance to know more about them and that allows us to highlight similarities and things we have in common. This makes the trust building easier. By applying Principle 7, listening, and Principle 8, talking in terms of their interest, we will naturally make the other person feel heard, which 
makes them feel important. Principle number nine, make the other person feel important and do it sincerely. Notice how words like honesty, sincerity, being genuine, run through these first nine human relations principles. Without these, the principles are simply tools for manipulation. Buyers are not stupid, and they see through manipulation. It is definitely not the way to win friends or positively influence them or make any sales. Most people go through their work days with very little praise, appreciation, recognition for what they are doing. If we can find some things to recognize and we do it in an honest, non-manipulative fashion, then we will build a strong connection of trust with the buyer. How can you use the nine human relations principles we've covered so far to develop friendships and relationships with buyers and have a positive influence on your business? Thank you for joining the Sales Japan Series. If you found the program useful, please work on your karma and share it with your family, friends, and colleagues. Don't forget to subscribe and share this podcast immediately. Apply what you've learned today. Use it and go out there and survive. Remember, I'm your corporate coaching and training guy in your corner, committed to your success here in Nippon. Nippon.